Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2023-12 for Java and web developers. Improvements that have been added since the last release in September 2023, three months ago. In the Eclipse 2023-12 Java IDE, Java 21 support is now built in. When creating a new Java project, you can select which JRE to use from a list of all Java versions that now goes up to Java 21, the latest version for which all Java providers promise long-term support. Eclipse is shipped with a previous long-term support version, Java 17. So in order to code in Java 21, make sure that a Java 21 JDK is installed and configured in the Preferences, Java, Install JREs. In Java 21, there are two new language features, pattern matching for switch and record patterns for less boilerplate code. Pattern matching for switch can be used in both switch expressions and switch statements. The syntax is similar to pattern matching, for instance of a type pattern consisting of a type and a variable whose scope covers the optional when expression and the following block or throw statement. Falling through is forbidden. Hitting Ctrl-1 and applying the new quick fix insert break statement adds the missing break. An extended switch must be exhaustive to cover all cases. This restriction applies not only to switch expressions, but also to switch statements such as this one. A non-exhaustive extended switch can easily be fixed via the quick fix add default case, another new quick fix in Eclipse 2023-12. An unreachable default case is also forbidden. It can be easily fixed as well by the new quick fix number 3, remove default case. Record patterns are similar to pattern matching for switch. They can be used not only in switch statements and switch expressions, but also in if statements. Record patterns can be nested. The new quick fixes insert break statement and add default case work here too. Nice, isn't it? Apart from the Java 21 support, there are improvements that can be used in older versions too. On constants containing lowercase letters, hitting Ctrl-1 provides the quick assist rename to follow constant naming convention. For deprecated method calls, whose Java doc description refers to a method that is actually used in the method body, the quick fix replace with inline method has been introduced in the previous release. In order to apply it to multiple files, folders and or projects, it is now also available as a cleanup function. In source, cleanups, in the source fixing tab, in the section deprecated method calls, tick the new checkbox replace with inline method where possible. Hit OK, verify the changes, and apply them. That's it. Support for the latest web technologies is provided via Eclipse Wild Web Developer, which is included in the Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers and can otherwise be installed as done here. TypeScript is supported up to version 5.2, which for instance supports declaring something with the keyword using, making resource management easier without try finally. There is a new code action to inline a variable. In the variable declaration, right click the variable and choose code actions, inline variable. The inline variable code action is available in both TypeScript and JavaScript. CSS support via the generic text editor has been updated as well. 
No errors are displayed anymore for nth child and nth last child with of. And code completion knows now about the new properties container, container name and container type. Last but not least, Vue.js support has been enhanced a lot. You now get suggestions for all the Vue-specific things like proposals for Vue attributes, including descriptions for each attribute, proposals inside Vue attribute values, and proposals in Vue's double curly braces blocks. That's nice, isn't it? These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2023. If you have missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!